What is up everyone, Mr. Aviator here, bringing you another episode of The Sims 4 here on Aviator Games, and you guys, today, we are starting on Victoria and Alana's journey as the third generation of this Sims 4 series. Now you guys, if you guys missed the last video, which was a live stream, so it was an hour-long event, basically we had a little trouble trying to find a house for these materialistic, snobby, rich, stuck-up kids to, <laughs> to live in, but I finally was able to solve that problem with a few hours of my time being invested I found a house and I customized it to how I think these girls would like to live but you guys before we get into this episode please take the two seconds out of your day to slap that like button lemon heads let's go for 2,000 likes on this video that would mean the world to me you guys likes really do let me know how I'm doing and how you guys are enjoying the series and if I should start changing something okay so let's get started so let me show you the lot first first thing we gotta do is uh, all the way up to the top okay so this is the lot now this is a very very modern open concept lot so let me kind of explain how this works so basically when you walk in over here there's a little step and it's surrounded by a giant pool the whole house is surrounded by a swimming pool that you can actually swim in now when you get onto the house's actual level there's another swimming pool that you can swim in there's a lot of swimming pools now when I put this house here I forgot to patch this up this was the original entrance to the house but the house could not be flipped this way because the lot size you know and all that why is Carmen over here <laughs> we should put the mailbox over here uh, there's a couple fixes I have to make but uh, basically it's a very modern looking house uh, let's go down a little bit Ugh! sorry guys uh, down here as you can see there's like a sitting area outside uh, it's pretty crazy looking and then there's a glass panel that kinda goes here I'm gonna have to go down here that kinda goes like this and there's no door here it's an open concept then when you come inside the house there is a television set with white furniture white flooring black walls another open window no doors needed then you come through here let's uh, let's go with half walls now we have a blacked out bathroom a very like steel like series type bathroom it's really cool then in the kitchen I guess the person that made this ah, house was obsessed with gnomes because there's a few of those but the kitchen is all white completely whited out just like so clean and simple um, then there's a little plant here in the the center square which I thought was awesome uh, but everything in the kitchen is white then you go over here and it's just like a entryway that is just simplistic it's got a couple plants really simple stuff then if you go up the stairs this is where they'll be sleeping. This is Alana's bedroom. I, I'm going to customize this a little bit more to look like Alana's style. Uh, then this is Victoria's bedroom here. Uh, she's got like a really nice open concept feel bedroom. Then they do have a spare bedroom that will be a kid's bedroom. But I think we're going to make it into an office slash work room. Um, and then we have this bathroom. So really nice setup. I really like this house. I think this is a great starter house for them. As you guys know, I do want them to be the richest of them all and uh, one day just rule the world. But that's going to take a little bit of time. They're brand new to ruling the world right now, and uh, it takes time to rule the world. So what we're going to do is, since I want to keep as much of the structure true to what it was, I will grab these creepy gnomes, and I will place them in the front yard, because why not? Now, we will extend the fence. Um, I really do not want another post here, so hopefully... Okay, so wait, no. No, 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 I need the same fence. What kind of fence? Is it this fence? Like, can't I just click this? Yeah, and I can extend it. Okay, perfect. Awesome. So that is the whole fence redone. Redid the entryway. But yeah, this is the house. But you guys, also, I'd like to say before we get into the episode that I am away or about to head out for Christmas break. I'm going back to Wisconsin to be with my family for 10 days. So the episodes you're going to be seeing are going to be shorter throughout these like 10 to 12 days. About 15 minutes apiece. I'm sorry about that in advance. But, you know, I am gone for Christmas enjoying time with my family. And I was able to queue about 20 videos for the 10 days I'm gone. So you guys will still be getting about two videos a day. So make sure you show all those videos some love but you guys in today's episode we are gonna have Alana and Victoria kind of acclimate themselves with their new surroundings now I talked about in the live stream that there's two new jobs coming to the Sims 4 the two new jobs being business and athletic now 
In the business career, there's two paths you can select, and I think that's going to be perfect for Alana because she's, one, she's kind of depressed always, and she's materialistic, so it's going to be great to be a tyrant of business, I think, for Alana. And then the other career is athletic, and you guys know that she, Victoria, is very athletic. I think we're going to have her be some professional sports person or something of that um, <laughs> of that uh, genre. Snobless! And Victoria is a snob. Snob Sims love uh, to critique the work of others and prefer the companionship of a fellow snob. I should have I should have made them both snobs, but hey, they're both having a good time here, even though they're both not snobs. I made, if you guys missed the live stream, I made Alana actually a romantic. So they're both materialistic. Um, Alana's gloomy, but... Um, you know, it's 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 okay. I think they make the perfect dual couple here. Uh, and look at this, the scenery is just it's it's beautiful. Uh, and one thing I, I noticed during the live stream is every single house in all the cities here on my Sims, it's em they're empty because everyone died over all the generations. So what we're gonna do is move in all these created Sims that the community created into all the different houses, and we'll have a full city again, a hustle and bustle city. But what I think I'm gonna have Alana and Victoria do today is go get themselves acclimated. It looks like Carmen's kind of creeping outside. They're, they're like, oh, I'm jealous. This house is very nice, very wealthy. Uh, what we're going to do, though, is go to the park. So let's go travel with... Uh, we're going to take Alana with us. Um, boom. We're going to head off to the park. So let's travel to the park. They need to be known. Maybe, actually, not the park. Let's go work out. Because, you know, they both need to keep their shape. And Victoria is an athletic sim, so this is going to be very beneficial for her. And Alana is a romantic sim. Maybe she can flirt with some of the guys at the workout center. <laughs> I'm kind of excited. It's different controlling two girls. We've never had this experience where it's only girls as the star of the show, so this is kind of interesting. So you guys, I would love your opinion if you want me to follow the athletic career for Victoria and the business career for Alana. Now, keep in mind that does release next week or this coming up week, sometime between Monday and Sunday. Um, so I don't know when that's gonna be and I am already pretty much gone for Christmas, so they probably won't have jobs for the next seven or eight episodes, maybe even 10 episodes. Uh, we'll just have them do some side jobs or something because I kinda wanna keep their careers for when they're they're ready to actually have a, a career they're going to stick with. So what we're going to do is have Victoria do an endurance run. Maybe kick her dad, Marshall, off the treadmill. She's a snob. She could do that. She's like, Marshall, get off the treadmill. You know who I am. I'm a snob. <laughs> okay, and now we're going to have Alana. She spots this guy. Who is this guy here? There's a guy working out. He, what is his name? His name is Colton Dooley. Okay, Colton Dooley. Let's, uh... Let's talk to Colton Dooley, see if we can give him a funny inter introduction here. See if it's something he might be interested in. Talking to uh, young Alana here. She's brand new to the young adult world. And she's strutting into the gym like she knows what's up. She's waving to him. And it looks like, uh, you know, they really don't know each other yet. But there we go. She, he, he thinks it's a funny conversation. So what she's going to do is she's going to enthuse about her interests and maybe maybe hip bump him and, and give him a bit of a pep talk because he's feeling energized right now. Uh, and then we're going to tell him a funny story, uh, maybe discuss fitness techniques because he is working out, so it must be something he's interested in. Or maybe he just doesn't want to get super fat or something. But hey, it could be something he's interested in. Uh, let's get to know him a little bit more. Uh, what else could we do? We could ask about his day. Um, and let's see how that goes. <laughs> Okay, it looks like Victoria is fitness level 4 now. She's going to keep working out. So what we're going to do basically is prepare for their careers over the next 7 episodes. And then when it's time to get a job, we're going to have them drink the youth potion. And they'll be all the way back to the young adult stage. And I think that would be really good. Because basically, they can prepare for their careers and be ready for promotion after promotion. There's a lot of people in here. There's a lot of talking going on. Let me turn this down. There we go. It looks like Julia's here too. Julia's working out. Marshall's working out. Everyone's enjoying the city. The new city they live in. Who is this? Courtney. Wow, we got Courtney over here. Perla. Who's this girl over here? Sylvia. Okay, it looks like she's hitting an off here with Colton. Let's maybe do an impression. And uh, what else could we do? We could maybe go to romance and try to kindle something. We could ask if he's single. Um, and then... And then maybe compliment his appearance. No, nothing too drastic yet, because they're not even friends. We don't want to come off desperate. So it looks like he's got fear of commitment. I just saw the rain with the with the X through it. I bet he's got a fear of commitment. We just found out Colton is an evil sim. Ooh, that's interesting. Okay, that we have a decision to make now. We have a decision. 
Um, let's, uh, let's, let's gossip a little bit. Let's see if he likes some gossip. Unpleasant conversation. Okay, so he wasn't enjoying the flirting. We're gonna not compliment. We found out he is single, though. Does she stink? What happened? Is she working out now? Oh, she's talking to him as she works out. So she's, she's gonna, she's gonna do an energized workout here. And it looks like they're having a little bit of an evil conversation here. What's going on? He's, she's being greeted evilly or something. Okay, well let's exit that. We're gonna stop the conversation because it doesn't look like it's going any place good. It looks like Colton's getting kind of angry. He's an evil sim. Okay, I guess Alana, that that sim is not for you. Who's this? Okay, so let's invite uh, Farah to this energized workout. Let's see if she wants to help out. Help us get a little bit more fit. Looks like Victoria's working her booty off. She looks so much like Marshall. It is scary. We're going to have to change both their wardrobes, though, you guys, because they are older sims now. They're going to need a more fitting wardrobe to their age. Don't want them dressed like teenagers their whole life, because that's just like trying to remember your glory years. Uh, who's this? Casey. I'm trying to see if there's any other guys here. Uh, that's a girl. There's there's Colton. Colton's kind of an evil man, though. I don't know if we should have Alana associating with him. Who's in the shower over here? Looks like a guy could be in the shower. Uh, this guy, Will w Wotan, looks a little old. Oh, that's a girl. Okay. So a lot of girls at the gym today. A lot of girls. <laughs> okay, well, we'll have them finish their workout up. It is about 8 o'clock at night. Let's have them go home. Go home. Both of you guys go home. Exit your workout. I know. You've been working out hard, Victoria. You should just head home, though. Now, they don't have jobs. And as you can see, they do have 41000 in the bank. So, like I said, this is the perfect opportunity to kind of build their, their skills and their relationships. And then take the youth potion. And then you're good to go. And I think, I think that will give them a really successful chance at being worth maybe over half a million dollars by the time they are a full-fledged adult. I am going to have them pick up hobbies like painting because I think if they both can do painting, they can make some good money when they're not working. So I think that's something we could do. But it looks like Victoria and Alana are back and they are ready to finally hit the sack. I think we're going to have... Okay, Alana's already ahead of me. She's already using the bathroom. We're going to also have her take a bubble bath. And we're going to have... Victoria go upstairs if we don't have showers I'm gonna have to get some because yeah it looks like we only have baths and I am not the biggest fan of baths as you guys know it takes way too long to take a bath and to get all that finished up and I think that's a little annoying but what we are gonna do is convert this room into a studio I think where we can have paintings and we can have um, a computer and and just stuff like that simple things that this house doesn't have yet that I think it should get um, I think that's something we're gonna do I think I'm gonna change this flooring too because I think right now it's tile and I really don't like the tiling on that but what are they doing looks like Victoria's heading upstairs Come on, Victoria, take your bubble bath. I'm going to let them both retire with bubble baths because they're materialistic girls. They like bubble baths. They like going to Lush. If you guys are out there and you don't know what Lush is, um, it is an evil corporation. <laughs> no, it's actually pretty good. They make soap, and they sell, like, high-quality soap. It's a weird business, but I guess my fiance is obsessed with it. Like, cannot get enough Lush. And every other girl I know that lives out here cannot get enough Lush. So Lush must be something pretty good. But right now, it looks like Victoria's taking her little bubble bath, having a pretty good time. Look at that. Look at this. is This is a bubble rific time, if you ask me. Bubble rific! No, is that something that you don't say anymore? Is that something that was ever said? Bubble rific! Oh, God. Okay, bubble rific is not a thing, guys. Bubble rific is not a thing. I gotta get a picture without her little sim emblem above her head because that's just not a picture. That's just not a memory that anyone wants to enjoy. See, this is, a, this is a bubble bath, and that's a memory everyone can enjoy. Look at that. Happiness. <laughs> okay. So the bubbles are real. She's having a nice steam here. And uh, <laughs> bubble bath. See, baths take a long time. Look at how long this is. It's still She's still got, like, a little bit more to go. Is she even clean yet? She's clean. Okay, she's just messing around now. Okay, so they're both in sleep. This is a good place to end the episode, you guys. They got acclimated to their new house. They met some of their neighbors. They went to the gym. Uh, it looked like Colin's a psychopath, and Alana should stay away from him. But you guys, if you watch the whole episode, comment down below. Hashtag bubble bubble bath. Yes, bubble bubble bath. <laughs> like the Zod, bubble bubble butt. Uh, bubble bubble bath, and I'll know you guys watch the whole episode. And until next time, you guys, remember to take it easy. Live and squeezy.